It's just that, that sense of everyone rushing around underground in these underground tunnels and mazes, and you can actually get lost in some of the biggest stations like uh, République or Montparnasse or Châtelet Léal. It's a real uh, rat's nest. I'm Chris Cody, born in Melbourne, bred in Sydney, and now living in Paris, a citizen of the world and a jazz musician. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Because <laughs> what I liked about some of the older lines, the one that goes down past Montparnasse, the, the four line, and there's one that goes up past uh, Saint-Lazare, uh, Châtillon uh, line, and there's also even a bit out towards Bastille on the number one line going out to the Bois de Vincennes. Uh, where you actually get these melodies, the metro plays music for you. Uh, when, usually when it's go, slowing down and going around a, a bend, you actually get these, uh, these harmonic, harmonics, this series of, of overtones being played. I don't know whether it's the rubber wheels rubbing up against the side, or just the metal singing as it's under tension and vibrating and actually producing a note that way. But you get this sort of slightly ethereal, ooh, and then one above it, ooh, <laughs> and so on. You get this sort of layered uh, texture of sounds. Uh, which, which also sort of like bends and shapes, and it sounds like voices. In fact, I remember the first time I heard it, I was thinking, good heavens, where's this music coming from? It sounded like uh, there's a composer called Leggetti who did the music for 2001 A Space Odyssey. You know, when he's flying out to the, uh, the outer realms of the galaxy, and you get that really spooky music, which is sort of for heaven and hell at the same time. It's, uh, it's, it always gets the hair off on my spine anyway. <laughs> This last album I did for, for Naxos, um, I was back in Australia and, uh, and that was when in fact the, the influences, musical influences and styles that I've been exposed to in, here in living in Paris actually finally came to the fore, came out. It took a year or two to, to, to uh, come to the fore, but um, so I, you know, there's a number of pieces on the album that had either an African or, or an Arabic influence. Um, and. Uh, and, and more specifically, Garda Lest is not only has it got a little Arabic kind of a, uh, a feel to it, one of the sections in, in the choice of scales and the melody and the way it's written, but um, uh, it was specifically inspired by you know, walking through the tunnels at Garda Lest, which is one of these larger metro stations like République or Montparnasse or Châtelet. down one, one corridor, one tunnel, and hear uh, some African music being played, and then you turn around into the next, you know, still following your correspondence, your direction, and there'd be like a little Arab group playing, and then in the next one there'd be, you know, some of the Colombians would pop up and be playing some South American music or whatever. And as you're walking along, not only would you just hear this, the, but equally you'd you know, get this sort of blending of, of the music sometimes, which sometimes very, you know, coincidentally was, uh, was fortuitous and sounded good. So Garda Less was an attempt to try and show some of these different sounds 